let's go into your stock pick for today. Yeah, so we do think APSA at these levels uh, seem to provide quite a good opportunity. It's it's a big, fairly big bank, and they've had some management churn. Uh, most recently, Ari, the CEO that departed, he wasn't there for a very long time, which doesn't read well. But when you look at the these large South African banks, it's very difficult for a CEO to make changes in the short term. It takes years mm. to make decent changes. So barring that, when you look at what what happened, they absolutely started lending into the the market post COVID too early. Mm. So a lot of their their loans had slightly higher credit loss ratios than expected previously. But if we look forward, currently they're trading under zero point nine times book value that might be justified under certain circumstances, but we do think that gives you a bit of a margin of safety at these levels. Okay. Then they still provide you with a decent dividend. They have some hedges on interest rates. So as interest rates go down, their net interest margins should be somewhat protected relative to the other banks. Mm. And then you have credit loss ratios um, that should reduce a little bit. Uh, which we think is quite a big positive. And the two-pot system, they will be the biggest beneficiaries of two-pot coming in. Mm. That being said, they underperform the banks significantly, and we do expect some catch-up from that. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much for your time and giving us those insights on what has moved investors' money today, Vessel. That was Vessel Ubad from Oyster Catcher Investments.